Welcome back. It's still Wednesday, July the 3rd. Uh, it's the Will and Jack Show. I'd like to thank you again before we start the volunteer crew and the Shaw staff that makes this program happen. Uh, Will, we want, we're going to start off with a little bit about 5G. Okay. Um, well, uh, there's an event tonight about 5G and, you know, this is something that's very interesting that's going on because people haven't been interested in this to a large extent, but there is a grassroots movement uh, Trying, trying to, to stop trying to it. St well, I think that th I would characterize the uh, it as a, the precautionary principle. People are worried about our children. I mean, you can see what's happening, kind of what's happening in our generation. There's some new problems that have uh, come up because we weren't maybe we weren't paying quite enough attention to what the uh, effects of these things, the eventual results. And I think people are worried about that with 5G. They're saying. Can we afford to do this to our kids without really even knowing what it's going to do? So that's what I see, and I, I like that because it's sane. It's not, it's not reactionary. It's just saying, let's stop this and see what's going on. Now, first. there's been very little information put out here in Canada about 5G, but worldwide, uh, there are movements around the world, citizens' movements, to block it, and in some countries, political movements, the, the governments are stopping it saying yes. we do not want this to go ahead until we know what the impacts are going to be. Can you just tell people what 5G is? Because a lot of people don't know. Well, it's fifth generation, so it's using new frequency bands that haven't been tested. For wireless. For, uh, for wireless communications. Right. And the, the, uh, the, the current technology, the 2.4 2 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz and some of the other frequencies are wavelengths. Uh, I think the 2.4 gigahertz, I saw a quarter wave antenna, the waves are like that long, but these are these are smaller ones. They're higher energy. The higher the frequency, the more energy. So the U.S. military is using these military, I mean, uh, m the millimeter wave energy for en directed energy weapons. So they can cause burns on your skin, which you can't really get unless they're very very powerful in the lower frequencies. But the point is that you know we don't know. So why can't we have a period of testing? before we deploy all this stuff. It's just being deployed like crazy, right? I have a feeling they have tested it. They just won't tell us Well, they've what tested they... it for pain rays, you yeah. know, I mean, but they haven't tested long-term effects because it hasn't been around long enough to do that. So th those are the things. And I, the thing I like is that it's, it's a broad spectrum of people. I mean, I saw it in, in um, Ireland. There's a bunch of people, you know, getting upset about 5G, about, about just the way it's being deployed without anybody really knowing. Yeah, I so, think around the world it's being opposed. Right. Well, it, yeah. Uh, and the other thing, I really wanted to talk about the, uh, the Green New Deal because I was listening in while I was directing, and I, I have to say I haven't looked at it really closely, but the thing I really like about it is that it's cross-party and that we can, we can just say, look, <laughs> you guys are lying to us. <laughs> You're not doing what we want. You know, every, we've, we've gone from a, a, a form of government that was moving at the speed of dark, and now it's come to a halt. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not, our decisions aren't ours anymore. These do what, whatever they want, right? So yeah. we just have to uh, hope that this kind of thing can say, okay, we don't care what, this is not a partisan issue. This is a broad spectrum human issue. Let's talk about it. If you're, are you with us or against us? And I think that's a good way to sort of hold a, the politicians' feet to the fire, right? I wish we had the power to hold their feet to the fire. I, I think it's more they hold us to the fire. But, but doesn't this make a start? I mean, yes, yes. Anything that can push in that direction, I'm all for it. Yeah. You wanted to talk about uh, positive and good things that are well, happening. Well, yeah, I was, I've been noticing. Um, like we talked about Iceland the last time we, uh, and, then, and they are, they seem to be doing a lot of really good things, and they're a very small country, so it's easier to, to. Uh, have everybody get together and be on the same wavelength, I think. And plus, I mean, they have certain... Well, the thing is, is they're, they're doing things to uh, promote renewable energy. And I think the point is there that they've taken their particular circumstance of having a lot of geothermal energy and, and make, taking advantage of that. And the answers will be different in every country depending on what, the, uh, what they have, what their resources are. But the whole thing is, is that they're, they're really getting together as a country and they're not fighting each other, they're cooperating. I think we're, we're seeing this more and more that, uh, and, and I think we should watch for it, that this is something really to watch for is the cooperation rather than the 
than the fighting. Okay. Yeah, cooperation to me is is what the f if we want to have a future, then it's got to be a future of cooperation. When I watch our leadership, they seem completely focused on dividing us. Right. And that works for them. And really, it's up to us not to fall for it. Just don't trust this, the media and the politicians who are always picking two sides with people on each side and trying to have us knock heads. The, 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 the so-called fight between Alberta and BC is a good example. There should be no fight between the people of Alberta and the people of BC, except working together to oppose right. the oil industry, which is destroying the futures for all of us. That's the fight. But instead, they pretend we're fighting each other, and that's not the case at all. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think the only thing that, that we really disagree on is just I can't stand to pay attention to that because I see the, the news media and the corporations and the, uh, the government are all in old paradigm thought patterns. And they're, they're working, I mean, they're going off the cliff. If we follow them, we're going off the cliff too. However, there are millions and millions of people now all over the world who are independently working or working in community to work the way nature does, which is in cooperation. I mean, nature, there, yes, there's competition, but there's also great cooperation. The fundamental uh, thing is, is cooperation in nature, right? So we're having to learn that. Um, I just I wanted to mention, I, I've, I've read a, a book. It came out in, in uh, German. It's called Christina, Twins Born of Light. And I want to bring that up uh, on another show. I've written a letter to, to do a, a, a translation of uh, so we could talk about her on the show. But she says some really interesting things. She's just a teenager. And I think that's where the, the interesting ideas are coming from. But one of the things that she said that really motivated me, she says, millions of people are, around, are ready around the world just waiting for the switch to be flipped on. And I just felt like that is exactly where we are because it looks like there's all this, that we're in a, a position of having no power with the news media and the governments and the corporations just forcing their agendas down our throats. And nobody wants it, or a lot of people don't want it now. This is happening. We're going to see a big change. It's going to be a step change. It's not going to be a gradual change. And it's not going to come through the, the political system. Yeah, and as you say, I think you and I agree. What I would like to see is a political system that supports the good things that all of us want. We all want nice communities and, and a good future for the next generations. And we want clean food and healthy food. We want, we want people to be healthy. I don't think we want the rich to be super rich and the poor to be living on the street. I think we'd much rather see a society where rich and poor are more like this and everybody has enough. And we can have all of that. But we can only have it when we run our own country. As long as somebody else is running our country, and by somebody else I mean the 1% of the 1%, we can't have any of it, obviously, because just look around. Just look around. Well, one of the points that I've taken away from these discussions about what's happening is that, I don't know, it's kind of a, a silly saying in some ways, people do what they do until they don't, and then they don't. And it, what it means is that you know, we just sort of go along as humans and then all of a sudden we just change suddenly. And I think we're at that, at that point now where a lot of people are scratching their heads and saying, you know what, I don't want to live like this anymore. And so it's going to happen really quickly. It's like, a, it's like a burned out rope. If you burn a rope, it still looks like it's a, if you let it smolder, it still looks like it's a piece of rope, but somebody comes along and touches it and falls down. I think that's the point where we are in our society because there's so many, so many things wrong and it's just being propped up by the most ridiculous uh, <laughs> methods. Yeah. Our, our um, financial system, I, all these things are, are badly broken and, and just waiting for a, a trigger to, to collapse. Well, your background is in finance and right now the stock markets are at record highs. Right. Which seems to be crazy given just the state of the world. So how, I mean, what's well, it's the, same, it's the same thing. That's my point is that we're, we have a system. It works. It functions to some extent. It's still functioning, but it's obviously uh, it's not sustainable. At some point, we know it's going to end. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't tell when that happens, 
but you can be at least ready for it to happen. Yeah. So, I mean, we're going to be talking about permaculture in the next uh, segment, and that's that's something that everybody everybody in anywhere they are on the planet can grow a little of their own food and learn yeah. how to do that. Yeah. That's Except really forward. important nowadays because a lot of the stuff that we're being fed simply is not food. It may be a good lubricant or antifreeze or all sorts of other things, but it's not food for humans, but it's still in our food. So we need to take that. That's, a, that's one thing. Food sovereignty is one area where every single person can take control. And even if you just grow a tomato plant or something like that on the balcony, you're still in control of that one thing and it makes you feel better. I'm from the United States, so I've been gaslighted for my entire life, you know, and I'm getting over it, but it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, you know, speaking of food, I mean, I would be so happy if our food supply was cleaned up and our, our food was grown more organically and... I mean, we can do that. We can exactly. have a healthy food supply. We just have to regain control of our country because the people who currently run the food supply, they're only interested in making more money. And, and that's the way our entire agricultural system is run. Yeah. And it, it doesn't work. So we've got to change it and make it work. And we can do that. We have to gain control of our, of our governments. We have to gain control of our political parties. We have to gain control of our media and things will start to fall into place. So there's definitely big hope out there. I think so too. I think, we, I think if we start dancing in our gardens, we'll do a lot too. Speaking of dancing in the gardens, I just got the sign that we're out of time. Okay. Will, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, and thanks for watching this segment of Citizens Forum.